secret box. I take it with me everywhere that I go. Here. Feel it. Beautiful wood. And mother of pearl. What are you keeping? Everything that is important to me. See? It's the piece of a moon. Or maybe a star. I found it in the desert and I showed it to a geologist. And he said he'd never seen any mineral like it before on the earth. And that it probably fell from the moon or maybe a star. It feels like a rock. No, <laughs> but it isn't. I'll bet you two my birth certificate. A picture of me in the Mikado. <laughs> Not very good anyway. My last will and testament. <laughs> Your last will and testament? And the instructions for my funeral service. My entire estate is to be divided among all my four close friends at the time. Names to be filled in later. I thought you didn't like it. It's morbid. But that's the point. It isn't morbid. Funerals don't have to be morbid. I want mine in a large church. And I want all of the pews and the seats taken up and a large cushion for everybody to lie on. <laughs> and I don't want anybody dressed in black. They should all be in gay, bright colors, and they should be drinking or smoking pot or whatever it is that they like to do. And I want Salvador Dolly to paint lots of groovy painting all over the wall. And I want flowers, but not for Maurice, just flowers strewn everywhere. <laughs> And butterflies? Oh, yes. Lots of butterflies. And I want the Beatles to write a memoriam for me and <laughs> sing it. <laughs> and I want Simon and Garfunkel and the Doors and the Vienna Boys Choir. And me? And you. <laughs> and you. How about a eulogy? To be delivered by Sidney Potier. I love his voice. <laughs> now there is nothing morbid about that, is there? Not at all. Oh, it's gotta be in here. Here it is. It's a present for you. What is it? What does it feel like? Next. There look be. I wore them when I was a hippie, and you should wear them too if you're going to play me. Well, nobody told me. Donovan wears them. And Jimi Hendrix. What else should I wear? Some kicky clothes. Wild. And your hair doesn't exactly blow the mind. Well, what's wrong with it? Get it fixed. Well, what's wrong with it? The way you comb it is kind of square, but I can fix it. I know that I have a comb in here somewhere. I'm starving. So soon? I know, isn't it awful? I think there's a couple of apples in there. Mm. I don't see it. All I see is lettuce, which isn't exactly what I was dreaming of. Ah, and one apple. It's yours. <coughs> Thank you. Come on. Hmm? Sit down. Okay. We'll fix your hair. I don't know that I want to look like a hippie. You're not going to look like a hippie. You're going to look hip. When were you a hippie? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess it was after my divorce. I used to hang around Sunset Strip and say things like, down with the fuzz, and don't trust anybody <laughs> over 30. I only did it because everybody was doing it, and then I stopped doing it because everybody was doing it. I felt like I was losing my identity, whatever that is. The main thing, of course, was to protest against my mother. So one day, I come in, and I'm wearing this bar out clothes with my hair all stringy and beads. She loved it. Next day, she comes in, she's wearing bar out clothes with her hair all stringy and beads. How are you going to protest against somebody that's doing the exact same thing as you? So, 
I joined the Young Republicans for Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Another mistake. There is no such thing as a Young Republican. <laughs> there. You look fantastic. It doesn't look too wild, does it? No, it gives you charisma. What do you mean, charisma? It's kind of like pizzazz, star quality. If you have charisma, you don't need talent. People will line up for blocks to see you. <laughs> you're really beautiful, you know that? I mean, you're a beautiful person on the inside as well as the out. <laughs> I like you too. I feel like I ought to tell you something. What? Well, earlier, whenever I put your hand on my breath, were you shocked? Sort of. Not from a moral standpoint. I was just a little surprised to be touching a girl's breast when I wasn't expecting to. No, I wouldn't want you to think that I go around putting men's hands on my breast. I don't think you go around doing that. Usually, if I like that guy, I kind of just flash him a smile that lets him know that I'm interested. I'd like to feel that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it now. It? No, you're making me laugh. But I had to use a different approach with you. Didn't I? Well, I just didn't want you to think that I was terrible. I didn't. I don't. I think that you're really, really groovy. <laughs> Like Christmas or the 4th of July? Like Christmas and the 4th of July. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to finish this apple, and then maybe I'll have some lettuce. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mother. <laughs> <laughs>